Okay, guys, this is going to be a continuation of our previous chapter. So in this particular chapter, what we'll do is we'll add a domain to this particular load balancer. So what we need to do is you can just click on edit. You need to go to host and path rules. And here, let's add a host and path rule. So all that I need to do is I need a domain here. So I will just specify that particular domain. So it's going to be very lazycoders.in. So this is a path that I must own. And here I can just specify this as any path. And here I just need to mention that particular backend that I had created in my previous chapter. And that's the only thing that you need to do. Once you've done that, let's click on update. And this particular IP address I need to configure in my GoDaddy account, which has that particular registered domain. So let's do that. So I go to my GoDaddy account. So let's just go to that particular domain. So let's click on DNS here. And here, let's just add a particular entry. Let's click on add. So what I'll choose is an E record. And any particular path here I'll choose. And here I just need to paste that particular DNS, uh, that particular IP address. And that's the only thing you need to do. Let's click on add record. And let's just wait for this particular IP to be registered to, to this particular domain that is very lazy code is dot in. So let's wait for a few minutes and let's see once the update is done. And now if I try to log in using this particular domain, you can see that it, it returns the same result. So that's it for this lecture. This is a very short lecture on how you can configure your domain with your load balancer. So that's it for this one. I will see you in the next.